Hello and welcome to IELTS Live Thursday. Um, today I want to talk about how to keep focused on your IELTS practice because obviously being focused and doing the work regularly is what will get you the score in your IELTS that, uh, that you want. So if you're finding it difficult to keep focused, then I suggest you watch this video as I'll share some simple steps that can help you to do that. So I'm sure most of you have seen the news over the last week from the UK um, and the fact that our Queen um, passed away last Thursday. And if you've been watching any of the footage, you'll see that it's been quite a huge um, national event, if you like, um, and something of a shock to us. And the reason I'm mentioning the Queen um, is because, as you also probably know, um, she was a Queen for 70 years, which is a very long time. And for most people here, um, she was the only monarch that uh, we've ever known. And when she was 21 years of age, she made a public pledge to the people of the United Kingdom, Northern Ireland, the Commonwealth, and all the realms that she is still head of state for. And that pledge said that she would offer her service to these countries and our country for as long as she lived. Now obviously she lived to the age of 96 and she was still working just two days before her death. So that was a pledge that she kept for a very long time and it showed a lot of dedication um, I mean, it wasn't always wonderful and there are things in during her reign that, you know, she was criticised for, etc. But it showed a great deal of dedication and she kept very focused on her role and on how she could best fulfil that role for what she believed and understood to be the best for all of the people within her kingdom, if you like. Um, and it was that focus on that goal of dedication, which has now produced this national um, outpouring, if you like, of love for her and for what we believe she did for our nation. So I'm not asking you all to spend 70 years doing your IELTS, but this is a bit of a leap then to IELTS and to the kind of dedication and focus that you need to put onto your study in order to achieve success. So the Queen example was a, a, a huge example of dedication and focus, but I do believe that you need um, dedication and focus yourself. And this is borne out by my experience of working with IELTS students for over 25 years. And I know that those that were successful had dedication and focus. So that's why I wanted to use that as an illustration and talk to you today. And this morning I was in um, a training session of my own um, and I learned something quite interesting that focus stands for follow one course until successful. And I think that's really a good encapsulation of what focus means. Follow one course until successful. Now, the course that you follow doesn't mean my course or a school course or a course at your local IELTS centre. It means a commitment to a way of study. So that might be for you self-study. But your self-study needs to be singular. It needs to be something that you do day in, day out to get to your success. 
or it might be a school or one of my courses or another teacher's course. But whatever your decision is for how you get to IELTS success, you must stick with it. So I want to talk about three areas that make up this idea of focus. And within those three areas, I'm going to give you three little simple things that you can do to make sure that you stay on track for your IELTS exam. And before I do that, I want to just remind you that IELTS is not a lottery. I was in a conversation on Messenger this morning with a student who wants to take the IELTS next month. But they've only recently taken it and got 5.5 and they need 7. And to rush into another IELTS test when you are so far away from your goal would seem to me a waste of money. It's not a lottery. It's not when will my turn come. You make it happen through your preparation and practice. OK, let me just check and see if there are any comments or questions before I move on. Nope. Not today. So, number one for simple ways to maintain your focus. Number one is have a plan. Have a proper plan for your IELTS practice and preparation. And more importantly, stick to the plan. So, here are the simple things you can do. Number one, create a plan for yourself that fits in with your lifestyle. So if you have a busy work life and you have a family, you're not going to be able to do five hours a day. That would be ridiculous. But you might be able to do half an hour a day or one hour a day. So make sure that your plan for your preparation fits in with your lifestyle. Number two, at the end of the week, evaluate what you've done and what was successful and write down what you need to do the next week to improve the areas that you need to improve and to move your scores on. So don't just randomly decide on Monday, what shall I do today? Have a plan, write it down and keep it simple so it fits in with your lifestyle. And then number three, if you want, I have a ready-made plan that you can use, which I've offered before. So if you want a copy of this ready-made plan, put IELTS plan into the uh, comments at the bottom of this video. So those three things will help you to have the plan and stick to it. The second thing you need to do is avoid distraction. Now I know that's difficult and it could be that you get distracted by having to work later in your office or it could be that you have a lot of family commitments or you have family that keep dropping in on you or you have children that keep disturbing you. I've got four children myself and I'm one of six children so I have a big family who are always dropping in, phoning, messaging so I understand where you're coming from. However, if you want this score, if this is part of your plan for your future you must give yourself time to prepare properly because otherwise your future plans will not happen. So make it known to those people that between seven o'clock and eight o'clock or eight o'clock and nine o'clock you are studying. Make it known. So you could tell them, please don't disturb me between um, eight o'clock and nine o'clock because that's when I'm doing my preparation. I have plenty of students who send me a reading and when I ask them, how long did it take you? They say, oh, I don't know because I did the first 10 questions and then I had to go make dinner and then I came back and I did another two questions and then I had to go sort out my children. I understand you need to do those things, but that's not really going to help you move your reading on. I had another student who told me that he always went and sat in his car to do his practice and in fact we had some lessons online and he was in his car and that was his way of avoiding distraction. So avoid distraction, tell people please don't disturb me during that hour, write a note on the, on the door, please do not disturb 
or make it a rule that you know between seven and eight I am not available because I'm preparing for my IELTS. Simple, simple things, but they can be very effective and can make a huge difference to your preparation. And then the third area is don't go after shiny new objects. That means the latest website, the latest um, comment, the latest Facebook group. Yes, it's good to join lots of things if it helps. But the more you do that, the more distracted you will become. Remember, fo follow one course until success. So, find a course or a teacher or a group or a website that you feel that is good for you, you like it, you trust it, and you feel comfortable with the way it helps you to practice. And stay with it. Don't just jump on another one. Stay with one that you trust, you like, and you feel comfortable with and fits in with your lifestyle. Number two, remember teaching and learning is a two-way process. So don't be afraid to ask for what you need. If you are a member of a group like this one, or if you are a member of a, a website or you're on a course, don't be shy. If there's something you want, something you need, ask for it. As a teacher, I've been teaching since the 70s and I know students need things and I'm always prepared as far as I can to help them if they ask me a question. And most teachers are like that. We understand that's part of our vocation. So ask for what you need and make sure you get it. And if you don't get it, then perhaps you need to find another platform or another teacher. But like I said before, don't do too much jumping around. And finally, stay the course. If you found your ideal website or your ideal teacher or your ideal group, don't jump ship. I don't know if you know that expression. It means stay with it. And if there's something you're not understanding, ask for help. In my experience, which is long, I've been teaching IELTS for over 25 years, those students who kept going, despite ups and downs, they were the ones that were successful. They just kept on. Even sometimes if they took the test and didn't quite get what they wanted, they had a little break, they picked themselves up and they went on and in the end, they were all successful. Okay. So I hope those simple ideas might help you to improve your focus. And remember, focus means follow one course until successful. And if you remember that and you do that and you find little ways of getting that time so that you can prepare, but don't be too over ambitious. If an hour is all you can do, then make best use of that hour. If half an hour is all you can do, then make best use of that half an hour. And little often is the best way of doing it. And if you want my plan, which is a done for you plan, put IELTS plan in the comments. Okay, let me just check and see. Okay, Rakib, yes, I'll get that to you. Um, so I hope that was useful. If you have any questions or need more information, you can either send me a private message or you can put a message in the comments and I'll reach out to you. Have a lovely weekend and I'll see you next week in another IELTS Live Thursday. Bye everybody.